Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. This is the third time I've tried to make this video. So, this is an update on what's happening with this drone. So, I got this drone replaced, as you can probably tell. If you've watched the other two videos that I've done on this, you'll know that it flew away and I had horrendous trouble trying to get it replaced from Femi's appalling customer service. So, Banggood eventually got involved in this. Now, without Banggood's totally dishonest and corrupt business practices, I wouldn't be able to make this video, or the video content certainly wouldn't be the same. I have a contact at Banggood, obviously, that I use that sends me drones to review. Bearing in mind, it's a very small percentage of what you actually see I get sent. I buy everything else from Banggood. I do not want to even think about how much money I spent at Banggood over the last 12 months, but it's in the thousands. So I got them involved to see if they could help me, as you would. So I got an email from that person. I'm not going to name him yet. So I got an email from that person and he said, you need to take your videos down that you've done because Femi aren't happy with them. And we're not going to go any further until you take your videos down. Now, I don't know, but I class that as blackmail. So in other words, you take your videos down that you've done that paint Femi in a bad light and we shall continue and see if we can do anything for you. So I sent him a message back saying, so let me get this right. If I take my videos down, you're going to replace my drill. The answer was yes. Okay. So I obviously refused to take my videos down. Why would I do that? I have a YouTube channel and the whole point of my channel, the whole point I started this channel was it had to be honest. There was no point me doing a channel saying everything's great and rosy in the garden if they're not. Trust me, you can get a lot of people that do that. If you watch YouTube channels and they virtually tell you every drone's great, they're either lying or they're being sent the product and they're being told what to say. It's as simple as that. My channel and a lot of other channels like mine are built on trust. We do the fact that we, we review up items for you. I am not an influencer. I review. An influencer is someone that will get a product, show you the benefits of it and never show you the negatives. You will then go buy that and make you, and then you'll be, you'll be left with what you bought. Nine times out of ten, nowhere near what they're telling you is. So I won't do that. So we refused to take the video off now. It went backwards and forwards. At this point I was still in communication with Femi and Femi never actually used those words. They just told me to deal with Banggood because Banggood had a solution for me. So I went back to Banggood and I said, there's what solution? And they went, as we said, take the videos down. I said, right, I'll take the videos down when you deliver the drone. So when the drone is in my hands and I've tested it, I'll take the videos down. They weren't happy at that. But eventually they agreed to do that. Well, that's what I thought anyway. So that's what I said. Bear in mind, I had no intention of ever taking the videos down because any trust I had with Banggood has gone straight out the window now. They're totally gone. So there's no way I was ever going to take those videos down and why the hell should I? Because it's my channel, I'll do what I want. So I didn't have any intention of taking the videos down. But I said I would to get the drone sent. So Banggood then messaged me later, the next day I messaged Banggood to ask when it was going to be sent out. They told me it wasn't in stock, so no problem, just delete the videos because it's going to be a while before it comes in stock and we'll send it out to you. I said, that's not the agreement I've had. And in the meantime, Femi contacted me and said, we've posted the drone out to you, here's the tracking number. It's all getting very confusing. In the meantime, they've come back and said, uh, Banggood have come back to me and said, right, no problem, if they're sending you the drone out, we don't have to. End of discussion. Done. So that was nearly two weeks ago. I apologise, by the way, I should say that if I've not left, I haven't answered the comment from the last video I did on this on purpose. I, I wasn't going to answer them and tell you, yes, it was coming. No, it wasn't because I didn't know if it was going to turn up because I have no trust. So I didn't say anything. I said nothing and I, I apologise for that. Um, I haven't even added any likes or anything on that video. So, that's where we were. In the meantime, obviously, I'm in contact with this guy quite often. And so I thought, well, I obviously don't think this guy is going to be so happy at what's going on. Let's see if he's going to send me stuff. So I started sending him messages on drones that I'd like to review. 
half of them, uh, two or three things. One of them I had no intention of ever wanting to review it, I just did it to test it. Never got response to anything, never. Until yesterday when I sent him a message saying, obviously we've got an issue, I don't even remember how I worded it, obviously we've got an issue and you no longer want to deal with me anymore. Um, so it'd be set, but more beneficial that I just won't buy anything on Banggood anymore. He then messaged me back saying, well, you broke your trust. You said we weren't going to do. You said you were going to take the videos down. You haven't. I pointed out that wasn't going to take them down until it arrived. Anyway, that's where we were. So obviously, he made his Banggood and decided since I wasn't going to play ball with them, I wasn't going to review their products. So really what they're saying is you can only review the products if you tell lies or hide the truth. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that for anybody. So the drones arrived, as you can see, arrived yesterday. So I promised Femi that when it came, I'd make, and Banggood, that when it came, I'd make a video because I'd obviously hammered Femi on the last two videos. So I'd obviously make a video saying, well, it's all been sorted now. Here you go. This is your video. Femi, if you're watching this, fantastic. You're as dishonest as Banggood. You knew everything that was going on because I do believe you two are the same company. And if you're not the same company, I apologise for that. It's my assumption that you are. But the way that the business has been done would tell me that it was. You didn't. You worded your emails quite cleverly, so you got Banggood to do all the all your dirty work. But Banggood, you're really appalling because you're just quite happy to let me spend thousands of pounds with you, but not give me any customer service. Are you joking? So, as you can tell, I'm not very happy. And as such... Banggood, I've done with. I will be buying no other products from Banggood. Over the next couple of days, I'll be removing every link I've done to Banggood. So all the links I've put to all their products they've sent me, or other ones that I do link, I stuff in my videos to, the hubs and everything, I would say no, do not buy from them. Because if they treat me like this, what are they going to do to the, during the street? So, when we're on that subject... This is the FR Sky X Lite. I know it's nothing to do with this video, but it kind of has. So I bought this to review a couple of weeks ago off Banggood. You turn it on and the scroll wheel doesn't work. I believe it's quite a common fault. Contacted Banggood, it took me two weeks for it to be They refused to replace it, but well, they did offer me 35 quid. It's a 70 pound transfer. It's useless. However, I took the 35 quid because I cannot be bothered dealing with Banggood anymore. This is how bad the company is. I know it's a bit off topic, but it's the same thing. It's the same thing. I've also got a plane that I bought from to review on this channel. I bought it six weeks ago. It's clearly not coming because the track is never altered for two weeks. They're telling me just to wait. They keep telling me that, so I've opened a PayPal case. So as you can tell, I'm not very happy with Banggood. So Banggood are done. And that's fine. I can buy from other places. But the majority I now buy, or virtually 99% of the stuff I buy, will be from the UK. Um, from my channel. So talking on my channel, because all this has happened it's, it seems a good point to take a break and it's going to be quite a long one. So this is the last video I'm going to post for quite a long time. I don't know how long, certainly the summer. Uh, I'll be back hopefully sometime in September, it could even be October. But I won't be posting any videos. I'll be posting one video and one video only because I have a commitment to a company that is sending me an RC car. By the way, a proper company that I've dealt with for a bit now on a few things. They're absolutely great. I just do what I want. They tell me to say what I want about the product. So that video will be coming up. It doesn't mean I'm back. I've already recorded the video and it'll be probably out next week. But that is the only video you're going to see from me for quite a while. I have about 20 videos already filmed and lined up, but I'm not even posting them. I'll wait till I come back and decide how I feel about things then. But this has left a totally bitter taste in my mouth. And it's here. Am I going to test it? No. Why would I? Any confidence had in this drone's long since gone. Oh, by the way, I must point this out. This is what they sent me. That's what came. That. No controllers, no nothing. Now the biggest problem is, we don't know what went wrong with it. I can tell you, I only had 6% um, signal strength at 600 metres. How do they know it's this and not the controller? I don't. I have obviously no idea. I could probably do some tests and have the transmitter tested to see what it's putting out. I really can't be bothered. I'll probably fly it for myself a few times over the summer, then this will go with the A3 and unfortunately with the Xiaomi 4K which I do love. I've got a video, there was a video planned 
to go out on that next week. I won't be doing that, but it probably will. But I can bring the channel back. I might post it then. It's a great drone. But I don't wish to own it anymore because I've got no confidence in the product or the company. The A3's screen, it flies nicely, the A3, but the screen's unusable. Mine's getting worse. They don't want to do anything about it. And if it was just my drone that had these issues, I'd say, oh, I was unlucky. But no, check out other people's videos. I've seen videos recently. Gimpman, true, vid, uh, true drone reviews. Marcus Crawford, they've had problems with this drone. It's not just them, I'm just naming them on the top of my head to the load. So, in leaving, what I'd like to say is thank you ever so much for all the support you've given me since I've been doing this channel. Please don't unsubscribe, I will be back at some point. I just won't be posting videos for a while. I've got a massive back, back catalogue, so if you're new to the channel and you've not seen a video before and you've watched it, you're thinking, what's he on about? I'll link the other two in a playlist for this and I'll put the cards up on the screen so you can see what it was on what I was on about in the first place but please do subscribe do continue supporting my channel I will be back I just don't know when I've just at the minute I've had a absolute belly full of it uh, dealing with Banggood and just when I started this channel it was supposed to be fun it was supposed to be fun for me have a bit of fun doing it and informative for you guys well I hope that's what I've managed to do the idea was I'd be informative for you and I could tell you what was the good and bad draw Somewhere along the line, that's all got blurred. I no longer enjoy doing it because it's just too much like hassle dealing with people, dealing with not you guys, with the people that I deal with from Banggood and stuff like that. Are they going to send me this drone? Am I going to get that? It costs a fortune to do, as you can well imagine. I'm spending an absolute fortune doing this. I know it's my channel and my choice, but it's a fortune. So I'm now spending the fortune, not enjoying what I'm doing and having to deal with idiots at Banggood. Sorry, but I've just had a belly pull. I will be back, but I can assure you that I'll never buy from Banggood again. Banggood, thanks ever so much for helping me make this video. I've sent you a link so you have watched it. If you haven't watched it, how stupid are you? Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.